Hey traders, welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth for another daily market recap. It's Rod with Power Group. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing stock DDD. That will be the stock of the day today. Closed up over 12%. And honorable mentions out to SPCE and AMC. But I did want to, I just did a video on space not too long ago. And I wanted to do a quick video on DDD and focus on that a little bit here for you folks as I am seeing some potential setups that I think everybody should be aware of. So before we jump into the day's content, make sure to smash the like, subscribe to the channel. It shows me some support. And as a reminder, I have a broken hand, so just bear with me. The format's a little bit different than usual. And what a crazy day we had today. The hype and just FOMO and just, you know, overall... Just excitement is getting a little exhausting, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below if you're feeling a little exhausted. And we didn't have really much news today, and I'm going to try and keep this video a little bit shorter. But yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of news out today, so just be aware that we could see some potential headlines or negative news at some point. There's no signs of it yet, but this level of excitement and euphoria, I have never seen it ever in my trading career. And I'm just starting to pump the brakes a little bit. I trimmed a lot of my longs and holding a lot of cash and also a lot of MJ, some blockchain, some crypto, but trimmed a lot of those and mostly short QQQ, SPY, and mostly cash. So taking a look at DDD, the stock has been on an absolute rip. So we hit the low here. We were in the lows of $4. We had a low of $4.60. And it's just been an epic short squeeze ever since. And let's take a look at the weekly here. So the weekly, we do not have a weekly higher low. We had a mini one here at 1012 off the EMA 12. So no support until EMA 12 whatsoever on the weekly. And that's all the way down at $23. So I want to do a quick video just letting you know that could this be the week we need to lose the low of the previous weekly candle? And if we close near the high of the, day, uh, the high of the week this week on Friday, if we close near the high here, then obviously it's a good chance that we'll continue, continue the move into next week. So just be careful of that. We do have earnings coming up on 24th of February. So that'll obviously be a catalyst. And we are weekly overbought. We're above 90 on the weekly RSI, which is extremely high the monthly is extremely high so now is the time we're well outside of the bollinger bands this is what you call a bubble in my opinion and it's going to pop and we could easily pull back upwards of 10 20 30 percent but you can see here we have some support on the dailies here we have do have these higher lows and ema 12 which we've been riding as support so that'll be a line in the sand if we lose that level but like I said, no weekly support. So if we do confirm a daily downtrend and, or lose the uptrend and start weekly consolidation and we break the low of the previous weekly candle, we have no support all the way down 75%. So if you are long or if you are in a position from down here, maybe, again, this isn't financial advice. It's just for entertainment and educational purposes only. But maybe you want to start taking profit or at least consider it. And if you did enter anywhere in the middle of this range, Maybe you want to set a stop loss and just protect those profits. That's basically what I wanted to get out today. But most important support on the daily is going to be 33.55 and resistance up at the high of the day today, 46.12. And if we zoom out to the monthly, no real resistance on the monthly until up here at $70 range on the weekly. Again, a little bit at 54 and 50 and then up at $70 essentially. So given how extended we are on the RSI, I would I would highly doubt that we would be getting there without any consolidation, especially on the daily or at least on the hourly or at least on the daily, but on the hourly, we could be an hourly bull flag and we are in an hourly uptrend holding EMAs. So first sign of daily consolidation will be a loss of the hourly uptrend. So we'll be watching the hourly chart as the most important. And if we lose the low of the previous daily candle as well, obviously daily consolidation will be underway. On the weekly time frame, we'll want to close the week above $21, $22. 
essentially to remain bullish. The MACD and stochastic are still bullish as well. And on the weekly moving averages, you can see that we have a bull cross of the 50 and the 100 and possibly through the 200. So this move is, is, is impressive to say the least, but all the way down at $11 is that weekly moving average. And the 50 day moving average all the way down at 1874. MACD may potentially cross bearish. So just keep an eye on that. And like I said, just be watching those weekly higher lows and the VWAP on the weekly down at 20.58. So $20 psychological would be in every $5. So 25, 30, 35 usually come into play. So we'll be watching DDD for a potential pullback. Again, no major red flags yet. Just putting it out there to start to be cautious and protective if you are in a position of gains. So I'm taking a look at the bear list, VEGA, NGA, MU, ZM, and Tesla, Amazon down over 2% off amazing earnings. So again, we saw this with Apple when they crushed their earnings, they were down as well. And the stock market actually started to sell off. So starting to see some small red flags in the broader market in the tech sector. And Tesla, Amazon, Netflix was down. So Apple down almost a percent today. So big tech notably weak and Amazon likely down. I think it's just because we're extended, but maybe investors didn't like the fact that Bezos was stepping down. But essentially Mark Zuckerberg's the only remaining big tech CEO out of all the companies. So that's interesting. So we'll move on from there. We'll just do a quick, take a quick look at Amazon. So very, very nasty candle on the daily with a bearish engulfing candle. That is not looking good. Google held up way better after its earnings crushed, but daily doji indecision candle gap in the chart. Are we going down? Is this a potential sell the news? We're daily overbought. Let's just take a quick look at the tech sector here. We'll do a deeper dive into the broader market in a second, but the tech sector is starting to show monthly bearish RSI divergence. So the price has been trending down on the RSI while the price has been breaking to higher highs. Something similar happened back in the dot-com bubble. And it was a little bit more clear on SPY. So back in the dot-com bubble, you can see here in 96, that's when we peaked on the RSI on the monthly. And it took four years from all the way to 2000 for us to see that bearish divergence end up in a monthly downtrend and prolonged monthly consolidation in a couple of years worth of a bear market. So could that same thing be happening here? It's entirely possible. If we take a look, we're on the Bollinger Bands, we're outside of the monthly Bollinger Bands, or right at the top of it essentially. And we had an upper wick on last month's candle. And if Amazon and Google crush earnings and they can't, if we can't go to new all time highs, I'm remaining skeptical and we're seeing a little bit of a bounce here up to 282.79 after hours. But we also have a broadening pattern here. So this megaphone on the monthly. So if we were to lose, say the 364, 365 area, that's going to be very, very telling. And we don't have any monthly support down here to 319. So it's time to start looking the other way. Again, this is just a rough sketch here of SPY's RSI. So we can probably adjust that a little bit here, but we are trending down. We're trying to break those resistances and we are above, but I'll just adjust that here a little bit. But the same psychology is there. So again, not calling any tops, but just remaining protective. And we'll take a look at the dollar here real quick. The dollar was getting its bounce going today, but it's essentially flat with about, it's got about a couple hours left, yeah, two hours and 45 minutes. And we did break the high of yesterday. So maybe we need to come down, form a daily higher low here around the EMAs around 90.66 or 90.70 and set a daily higher low and break through this resistance, which has been strong resistance at 91. So we'll see.
And on the hourly, hourly could be a descending triangle here forming. So we'll just draw this out for you guys. And usually that means that we could see more downside. So we'll keep an eye on that. Taking a look at our other sectors real quickly. I'll just skim through them here. So IWM up 0.3%, SMH semiconductor down almost 2%. So semiconductors was very weak. QQQ down almost half a percent. SPY closed just barely green, 0.8 of a percent. Tan solar sector up half a percent. US oil was very, very strong today. And XLE up over 4%. So huge day for the energy sector. And XBI, which has been notably strong, down over 1.3%. And the healthcare sector down about three quarters of a percent as well. So that's where we stand today. Again, trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter for you folks, but it does look like the dollar does want to break down out of this descending triangle here on the hourly. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Just remain protective if you are unsure or if you're feeling FOMO or you are just nervous, if you're wondering if you should trim your positions, then maybe you should at least, you know, sell a little bit and trim and just go to cash. Whatever you got to do, hedge with some SPY or some, some QQQ short, whatever you need to do to sleep at night, essentially. But it's time to start looking the other way, in my opinion. Again, this isn't financial advice. It's just for ed entertainment and educational purposes. But just remain protective. You stop losses. Do whatever you got to do. Thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for another daily market recap. We'll see you a little bit later on for a cannabis sector review. See you tomorrow.